get myself ready right. to go. Yeah, yeah. I'd like, I'd like to hit for about 20 minutes or so. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, I just saw the guys finish off that match. It's a good 10-point tiebreaker. <laughs> oh, uh, they play it. Hey guys, it's uh, it's Brent, webtennis.com, and uh, uh, still kind of a, a little uh, new thing here with the YouTube Live. So you know, forgive me if I completely screw this thing up. It won't be my fault. It'll be my friend Phil Landauer's fault, who's who's right here. Um, yes, I'm here with the great Phil Landauer from uh, right now from Naples, Florida. Is that right? That's right, Naples, Florida. Been there. My wife and I've been there for six years. Okay. Love it down there. And you guys, uh, and you, you know, have been playing senior tournaments for what, 30 plus years since you were in the 35s? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, uh, you know, I just want to kind of, you know, for, for, for you guys who are sort of in that 3 5 4 oh, skill level range, who really just playing league matches maybe, uh, but not really venturing out and playing any, any tournaments, especially national level tournaments, uh, or the Category 1, the Category 2. Phil, I mean, what's your... What's your advice for these guys? Um, number one, I think a lot of guys think, well, you know, if I go out there and play a national event, I'm going to get thumped. Um, oh, well, no, I guess, and I guess there's always a chance that you could, but the chances are better that uh, you're not. I, I agree. I, I think uh, the perception is that everybody that plays these national tournaments are great players. And there are some great players out here playing, but... There's a lot of guys that are just aspiring to get better and come out and play, and there's a lot of locals that play. And, <clears throat> yeah, the first tournament or the first year, you might get a bad draw and play a top seed early, but they have consolation events. And I, I think just going and seeing that there are a lot of players that aren't going to just knock you off the court. Thank uh, you. Look at my glasses. Uh, would, uh, mm. it, it, it would behoove these people to go and play them because I think – they can play with a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always thought one of the things uh, is that when I first started playing senior tournaments, uh, I mean, to me, these top players like a Brian Chaney or even someone like yourself, I mean, these guys were like, you know, my mind, just gods. And I thought, oh, my God. You know, and, and once you get to know these guys, um, there's always a chance. They double them's... fault and they eat cheeseburgers and they do. <laughs> they're well, just normal and, people. And, and one yeah. of those guys is going to say, hey, you know, you got you got 20 minutes, you want to go hit some balls. Right. And so to me, once I got asked by, I can't remember who, but someone, uh, it might have been a Brian Chaney, he just said, uh, you know, can, can, can you, you hit for 15 yeah. or 20 yeah. minutes? I go, oh, of course. Yeah. And, uh, y you know, and then you start to feel what that tennis ball is like from that guy and you realize, God dang it, you know, I mean, I can I can rally with this I, guy. I, I and couldn't agree with you more. Right. Uh, I had the same experience years ago. I, Colin Dibley, the great Australian player, used to have the world's fast serve. One day, was walking through the lounge at a tournament, and he said, "I need somebody to warm up." I said, "I'll, I'll do it." It was like my first year of 35s, and uh, I ended up hitting with him every day the rest of the week. Right. And it was awesome because you know I realized as good as he was. You know, he still hit some balls in the net. He still flew a few balls out. That's right. And, and you know, you kind of start. I left that tournament with a confidence that I could, I could kind of hang. Yeah, you yeah, know, to yeah. somewhat. And over the years, you start doing that. But you've got to be there to get those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. And, well, uh, I think that's the key right there. Is you got to, you know, you got to put yourself out there so that you realize that, you know, I don't have to sit back on court ten and hit ball machine. You know, for two hours, four days a week to try to perfect this one little forehand, you actually got to get out there and uh, you got to play some tournaments. You got to take your lumps, and <clears throat> I, I think the more you do that, the sooner the, the sooner you come to realize that <clears throat> this senior, this age group stuff is really much more about consistency, about being consistent, than it is about having this massive. Uh, the perfect tennis game. Oh, yeah, you're right. N nobody, uh, as we get in the 65 and 70s, very few guys are going out there and just knocking you off the court. Yeah. It's more about placement, accuracy, consistency. <clears throat> it, it certainly helps if you have the mobility. I mean, the guys that sometimes don't have great strokes that can still move, they're still very effective too. But, you know, you and I are both in the tennis business, taught a lot of years, and I'm a big believer in drilling and, you know, and doing all that. But, you know, I remember the, the old adage, the best way to learn how to play tennis is to play tennis. Right. And, but you've got to have a mentality that you are willing to take your lumps for a while and have, have the, uh, the attitude that you're going to learn from it. 
lot of people go out and try it once or twice and get thumped pretty good. That's right. And they get discouraged and they don't ever do it again. Yeah. If you're willing to give it a couple years <clears throat> and say, I'm going to be better for it in two years, you, you will be. But if you go and just say, I'm going to try one time and, and get beaten, then it's, it's almost not worth it. But well, you can learn so much from going to these tournaments. I, 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 I think that's really a good point that uh, you got to look at the long picture. And you know, I, I find myself sometimes, uh, if I haven't played a tournament for, say, six months, I start thinking too much about, well, i got to get ready to you know, win this tournament uh, right. in terms of, or, or I should say as opposed to, look, all I can do is I can just train and I can work and, like you say, drill. And whatever I have at that next tournament is what I've got. It's what you've and, got. And you, you go with what you've got. But, you know, <clears throat> there's never a time that, that everything is, is running on all cylinders. Sometimes you're a little injured or you're changing rackets or you're a little unconfident. But, you know, like this week you and I have hit two or three times. And, you know, just getting a groove with some of these good players will help you. But you got to go to the tournaments to do it. I think the league stuff is great. Um, but if you, I think you can get a lot out of going to these these uh, uh, individual events too. Good, good. Really do. Well, Phil, thank you for your time today. Thank good you. luck in your doubles match this afternoon. Thank you. Um, and uh, I'll be checking on your results. And then, guys, any comments or questions uh, for me or the great Phil Landauer? Uh, right below in the comment section. Um, and. Um, yeah, let's see. Another thing, uh, I got a free course, Top Spin Serve course, which, you know, you're you're only as good as your second hey, serve. He's got a great Top Spin Serve. Listen to the guy. <laughs> but uh, uh, there should be a link in the description area that will take you to that free serve course. Put your name and first uh, your first name and email address in there, and you'll get access to that court court course. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks very much, and uh, be sure to get out there and make it another great day. Awesome. Let's see, are we done?